Imagine, for just a brief moment, that you wake up one morning, and the one person, the one very significant, important person in your life is no longer there. Death, divorce, or physical separation, it doesn't matter, it's all the same. That person has made a complete difference in your life, and suddenly, they're gone. Now this morning, I didn't mean to drag you down into a place of despair, because I have a poem that actually gave me something that strengthened me for any kind of loss. This poem is so powerful in its message that I decided to bring it to you today. Elizabeth Kubler-Ross titled a book, By Death or Divorce, It Hurts to Lose. It's a book I read back when I was 20-something, when a friend of mine at age 20-something suddenly passed away after a medical procedure. I didn't think she should have died. I didn't know why she died. But the emotions I felt, or the emotions a lot of human beings share, when the person that they've spent time with is no longer there, that absence. Some of those emotions draw us into a wilderness. A wilderness, imagine, you can't see. Everything's really close in. It's chaotic. And then there's the emotion of darkness. Everything seems so dark, so absent. Where there was joy, there's now darkness and blackness. Those emotions are very natural and very normal. And it's our reaction to fix those. Where we hurt, we want soothing. We want someone to come along and fix that for us just like our parents did when we were little. We got hurt. We came and they solved it with a Band-Aid. In my life, mercurochrome, which stung like crazy. <laughs> we want that solved, and we want it now. And in relationships, we have a tendency to fix that loss with another relationship. Well, in this poem, there's another solution. Now, this poem was written as a song by Andrew Lloyd Webber as the closing song for Phantom of the Opera. It was not written about death, because in Phantom of the Opera, the Phantom did not lose his longtime significant love by death. She left because he allowed her to leave to be in a relationship with the other significant person in her life. So his loss was separation. And that's very significant here because he experienced what? Anger. Separation. He didn't want that anymore. He did everything he could to bring that woman back into his life. He tried to steal her from this other man to soothe those emotions. Now imagine that for just a moment. Because someday, if you haven't experienced it yet, you will. There will be something like that happening in your life. And listen to how the words of this poem parallel our emotions with visuals. As you hear his words, he carries you through those emotions in a very visual way. And then there's something very profound. He asks you, learn to be lonely. What? Learn to be lonely. What's that mean? That means learn to find yourself. Learn to find out who you are. Learn to find out how you can survive after that event and become who you really are. Because one of the risk factors of loss is to get into a relationship that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. To get into another relationship just like the last one, where you're not yourself. You're just soothing those angry and hurtful times. I know this from experience because my father woke up one morning. My sister was living at home. I was married. My sister was living at home, and she happened to wake up early, too. And my father had breakfast, and then he would go to work. 
About an hour later, my mother got the phone call. My father had died of a sudden heart attack at work, and she never saw him again. And my mother had that loss for many, many years. Now, she did not remarry, but she did have several relationships during that time, and none of them ever soothed that loss. None of them did. I believe that's because she never learned to be lonely. In my life, I got a divorce after 13 and a half years of marriage. It was my choice, but I chose also to learn to be lonely. My children lived with their father. I was alone. I had to be by myself all the time that I wasn't with them periodically. But what I discovered was something that I didn't know happened. And I discovered it through my kids. One day, when they're older and adults, and we're having a conversation, one of the things they said is, the one thing we really like about you is you like yourself, and you know who you are. And you did this without remarrying, without another relationship. So think about those things for just a moment while I read you this poem. The poem is titled, Learn to be Lonely. Child of the wilderness, born into emptiness, learn to be lonely. Learn to find your way in darkness. Who will be there for you, comfort and care for you? Learn to be lonely. Learn to be your one companion. Never dreamed out in the world there are arms to hold you. You've always known your heart was on its own. So laugh in your loneliness, child of the wilderness. Learn to be lonely. Learn how to live, learn how to live, excuse me, learn how to love life that is lived alone. Learn to be lonely. Life can be lived Life can be loved alone.